Today is All Saints Day. It's a tradition here at City of Light that we acknowledge those who have transitioned from our world, our loved ones, family, friend, etc. We want to acknowledge them and call out their names as a tradition. But because so many of you said, oh, I forgot, I missed it, oh, I want to, oh, please, we're going to postpone it and continue this as an All Saints Week of remembering loved ones who are no longer with us. And next Sunday, we will uh, celebrate this wonderful ceremony of lighting candles and of calling out the names and ringing chimes that resound in a vibration down through the ages of remembrance of loving memories of those loved ones who are no longer with us. So if you'd like to have a candle lit in memory or in celebration of a life uh, that has transitioned from this world, please reach out to me and let me know. We'd love to call out their name. Send me their name and the candles are $5. You can make a purchase for a candle uh, through our website at www.cityoflightatlanta.com. You can reach out to me at revtpaul at aol.com, letting me know of your family member, your loved one, your friend, whatever it may be that you want to acknowledge who is no longer with us. Let us take that time to just remember our loved ones and hold in remembrance the light and love that they've shared with us in this world. Thank you so much. We'll be celebrating all week long and remembering all week long and then culminating it next Sunday with the calling out the names and ringing of chimes, remembering each and every one. Now today, I really feel moved to just sort of rip up the talk that I worked all week on and just throw it out the window. I just feel really moved to just speak to you in a relationship to what's going on in our world this week. So many have said, you know, I'm in just an uncomfortable space. I'm stressed, I'm worried about the outcome of the upcoming election. What if the politician that I've chosen is not elected? And that can be for both parties uh, in our world today. They're just sensing this uncertainty and turmoil and they're living in the world of what if. Let me tell you this. We as people of a spiritual truth that is grounded in a sense of knowing are not called to live in the realm of what if. What if is not where we belong at all. We move out of the what if zone, not questioning and wondering and speculating and wanting to know and think about what might transpire within our day-to-day -day journey and all the emotions that rise up in the realm of the what if. For we know that the ancient truth of the ancient texts resounds deep within our heart that says, and we know this to be true, all things work together for good. All things. Everything that we're encountering is going to work together for our highest and best if we allow it. And that allowing is simply to not get caught up in the framework uh, or the, the chaos, the discussion, the disappointment, whatever it may be, if uh, our particular candidate in all the different spectrums of the political election is not elected. But we find the perfect peace in the midst of every situation. Down through the journey of my life, there have been so many uh, shall we say, shifts in the pathway that I may have chosen, bumps in the road, things that may be taking me in a new direction or a different direction other than what I had anticipated or expected. I can recall being so excited about purchasing a home, thinking this is the right and perfect one, putting down uh, the offer, and making everything fall in together perfectly because this was going to be my home. What, ah, it had a contingency. It was contingent on the sale of the home that I owned. Well, after 90 days transpired and my home didn't sell, well, that offer fell through. And you look at this and think, well, what if? What if this offer falls through? What if I don't get this house? What if I, this doesn't pound? What if my house doesn't sell? All these kind of what ifs, and they can drive you crazy. Stress level rising up, all of our fears, and then the, we realize, wait a minute. What if 
is not where I belong. But I know this to be true. Everything is working together for my good. And even in this scenario. And what happened is an even better house came on the market and my home did sell in the proper time and everything fell together and somehow the something better was just so to release and relief and saying so glad that that initial home fell through. I can think about times when I applied for a job as a young man. I was with a circle of friends who were all flight attendants. And as a young man, I thought, I'm going to be a flight attendant. So excited about it. I'm going to join my friends. We're going to travel the world and I'll be a flight attendant. I can share the good news with people all around the world as I fly and jet set from country to country. I thought, this is going to be fantastic. And I applied and my friends said, we'll even help you. And we're going to make sure that everything works out great in the job application for you and that the interview goes smoothly. We're going to coach you. Everything is going to be fine. I went to the first airline, everything was going along perfectly as they had predicted, only to find that I had sent my application down and a different interviewer came into the room and picked up the application and the interview did not go well. Well, that seemed to be a setback. Oh, so I said, you know what, if I'm going to be a flight attendant, I'm going on to the next airline. And I went to the next airline and everything went through so beautifully through the first interview, going into the second round interview, everything seemed to fall in place so beautifully. Uh, and somehow a glitch came up and I wasn't chosen. I went under the third airline and this airline said, oh yes, we love you. We are just perfect for us. First round, second round, third round, everything was going smoothly and I was actually hired only to find that that airline, the day I was hired, froze all new hires and said, I'm sorry, but you're hired, but we can't put you to work for at least another year. Oh no, setback after setback, all things work together for good. You know what, I'm so delighted. I wasn't hired as a flight attendant because I have the opportunity to serve now 42 years as a minister of the good news, of the joy of truth, of the unfolding of the insights of divine wisdom. To share this has been the greatest and most rewarding experience. You may look at all these things and say, well, what if, what if again? What if I don't get this job? What if this doesn't unfold for me? And again, that creates this world and realm of uncertainty, but we're called to live in the realm of certainty, not uncertainty. I can remember coaching my daughter as she went into the realm of pageantry. Everything was going so beautifully for her to uh, be uh, achieving her goals. She was hoping to be a broadcast journalist and pageantry was opening the door for her. And we went into one particular pageant uh, where everybody said, coaches all around said, she's the winner, we see it now. The judges I know are gonna pick her. Uh, throughout the pageant, everything was going so, so smoothly. Everything was just beautiful, only to find out she was first runner up and didn't get the title. She lost by a fraction of a point. What happened? What if? Because this was going to be the gateway for so many opportunities for you. Lo and behold, it was only a matter of two weeks and she was uh, in an airport and she met her husband, her fiance to be and her husband now of 10, almost 10 years. You see, the right and perfect thing happened in each case scenario. In the selling of the house, the right house. In the job career, the failure, the right job. In the pageantry, the right opportunities unfolding. Everything works together for good if we allow it and we move from the realm of the uncertainty to living in the certainty. Because that's the power of faith. Great faith says, I know all things. That means everything. Everything that I do is working together for my good. And my good is what the universe sees. So no matter what transpires in the week ahead, it is for our good, for our highest and best. We can be assured of that. And we can be at perfect peace. I'm so grateful for Greg Creech's musical selection today, that perfect peace, with a little glissando describing a storm but ah, in the end, is that storm release the perfect peace? Just as we let go of the what if, 
We let go of the uncertainty in our world, in our life. Let go of thinking and focusing on that which may feel as we think, oh, it may turn out to be just a terrible thing, but we know that it's all working together for our good and that brings a perfect peace within our life. The scripture says, blessed are the peacemakers. Happy are the peacemakers. Content are the peacemakers. And we are called as people to then be the peacemakers in our world, making peace, making peace and surrendering peace, offering peace, sharing peace. And the only way we can do that is to step out of the world of uncertainty, move into the realm of certainty, claim for ourselves this wonderful truth that everything is working together for our highest and best. We begin to become peacemakers as we learn this day-to-day -day journey of daily practicing peace. So as Tuesday comes around and the elections happen, practice your peace. Practice perfect peace. Practice that perfect assurance, that sense of knowing everything that's happening and no matter what the outcome may be, I center myself in this wonderful knowing I am at peace because whatever this outcome is, it's the highest and best for me. And I celebrate that. I practice this peace because it is a peace that is from the divine. And that peace is a peace that passes all understanding. And you're like, what? wait a minute. Peace that passes all understanding, that means it passes, it's beyond comprehension. We may say, wait a minute, I need the perfect peace and I want the perfect peace and that's only going to be when my candidate wins or when the outcome that I desire is the one that I want and when the house that I want is sold and when the job that I want is there for me and when the opportunities for success and advancement, whether it be for your family or daughter to go into a career, all things are working together for good, even when you don't understand it even when it looks awkward, even when it looks maybe uncomfortable, even when it looks strange, everything is working together for good because it's beyond our understanding, beyond that peace that passes all comprehension, all knowledge and understanding is ours. So I invite you to prepare yourself to practice that daily peace. Practice that daily peace in your moment of centering yourself. Quiet those emotions. Quiet all of that monkey mind that's going on this week. Quiet all the drama that the media wants to create within our world of speculation and just rest in the knowing. All things are working together for good. I don't even need to stay up late to find out who is elected. And even if we may say, oh, we may not even know the results on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, maybe a week or maybe two weeks. It doesn't matter because what we know is the outcome is it's my highest and best. We already know the outcome is already working together for my good. So I meditate. I rest. I actually quiet my spirit in this wonderful peace, this centeredness. Let me tell you this. Something amazing happens within our life is when we release stress. Do you want to know the secret to being youthful? It's living the stress-free life. There's doctors who even say that there is a strong correlation between aging and stress. That stress just impacts the whole body and that which we are worried about and all oh, concerned and caught up and, and all just feeling the chaos of the world and welcoming it in our thoughts and our minds, that stress level it's aging you. Let me tell you this, the stress-free life is better than any miracle cream or any kind of thing that may bring youth to our lives uh, through the physical because it happens within. How do we get that stress-free life? Centering in that perfect peace, resting in the knowing that all things are working together for good. Let me tell you this, this is your time to demonstrate. This is your time to really speak and show and reveal to the world that which you believe and hold to be true. Now, you may have said, I believe in this ancient truth of the scriptures, all things working together for good. I believe, wait, wait, wait. But I don't really when it comes to this. You see, here's your chance to demonstrate 
perfect peace in all things by saying, no matter what the outcome, it is there for my highest and best, and I celebrate it. This is our time to demonstrate our belief in this, our faith in this, our trust in this, and the perfect peace that we can offer to one another. I think one of the great things you can do is offer peace to one another throughout this week, that no matter what the outcome may be, and certainly as we prepare for the elections, that that energy that wants to rise up of stress and chaos and worry, you're offering perfect peace to one another. Relax, rest, no, no, simply no. All things are working together for good. This is our opportunity to show the world what we teach. I want to tell you this, the passage of scripture that so blatantly speaks of this says, freely you have received, now freely give. Freely you've received of the insight. Freely you've received of this truth. Freely you've received of the knowledge that all things are working together for good. Now, freely give. Boldly give. Generously give. Give to one another perfect peace. Give to one another this sense of assurance. No matter what the outcome, all things are working together for my good. People will say, well, wait a minute. This political candidate doesn't support my views. It goes off in a different direction or that political candidate stands for something that may not be comfortable for me in my life. But let me tell you this, no matter what we go through, there is goodness unfolding. We did not choose COVID-19. And yet we may look and say, COVID-19 may be the worst thing to happen or is it the best thing that happened to us right now? Is it? Because if we allow that perfect peace in the midst of any challenge, any trial, to unfold within our lives and to move beyond our own understanding, but allow that perfect peace to permeate our life, we move then into the realm of certainty and a realm of certainty that says, I know that no matter what I'm going through, if it's a bump in the road, if it's a turn in my pathway, it's a, it's a journey that's making a twist or a turn or something unexpected, it's still for my good for my highest and best. Now we as a congregation don't have the opportunity to gather together as Greg spoke of as an extrovert, the wonderful need that we have to come together as a community. But at the same time, we've moved as this church out of the four walls and we're touching lives right now in California, touching lives in Minnesota, Florida, and all across the United States. We're touching lives as a result of COVID-19, forcing us into live streaming to connect with people in Bangladesh, India, China. We have a student joining us in our classes from the Philippines. We have people who are inquiring more from countries all around the world saying, we want to acquaint ourselves with this teaching and understand it to a greater level. Is this the worst thing or is it the best thing? Is it something that is working together for our good? Oh, I have to say amen, it is. How about in COVID-19, there's people who have said, you know what, it, I'm sequestered, I'm locked up at home, but oh, I've discovered so many things. Some person just told me that I am spending my time learning a new language. Someone else said, I have been reading as never before. I've read more books during this time and I've educated myself on a wide variety of issues. Others said, I've used this time to cultivate hobbies and talents that I never had the opportunity to do so before. Someone else said, you know what? I was overweight, but I'm using COVID-19 to be my exercise program and I'm losing weight and health and wholeness is mine. I would not have had these opportunities had we not encountered COVID-19. All things, all things, all things work together for our good. That's the certainty that we have. This week, I'm inviting you to welcome the certainty of God, the certainty of the divine presence, the certainty of this wonderful knowing and truth that resonates within our life that says, all things are working together for good, no matter what the outcome, there is good for me. And that good will unfold in amazing ways as I simply rest. Now, if we wrestle with it, we disrupt the pathway of the good unfolding. But if we allow to say, Spirit, show me the good. Lead me on the pathway for the good. 
let this opportunity and whatever the outcome may be, be unfolding the highest and best. We live by that thought, this or something better. And we say that quite often. For as we pray, we may say this or something better. And what we're doing is saying the universe in its infinite wisdom knows even more the highest and best for our lives. And we're surrendering to that. We're living out Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says trust in the Lord. Trust in this consciousness with all your heart. Lean not on your understanding because, again, it's perfect peace that passes all understanding. And God directs your path. This is the promise. Our pathway is being directed in the midst of this as we trust everything working together for good. So let this be a week of great peace. Let this be a week of great certainty. Let this be a week of celebrating the all good. I'm surrounded by it. I rest in it. I am dwelling in the all good and that all good knows what is best for the journey of my life. I may see from the physical aspect that it may be disappointing or dis, uh, sad or it may not unfold for the, the way I want it to do. But the universe, God knows and we surrender to the something better the universe has for us. I am so grateful over 42 years of ministry that there's something better has been there for me when I've surrendered to the perfect peace that passes all understanding when I've surrendered to the certainty of God at work all things everything is working for my highest and best for the this or the something better Amen Thank you so much for being with us today.